First, they encountered an evil sorceress attempting to seize ultimate power. Then they did battle with mind-controlling shapeshifters from another world. And now they face an excessively competitive school administrator and her egg-headed pupil. Well, sure it sounds like a step back if you say it that way. Okay, Friendship Games is not as good as Rainbow Rocks. And it's not really as good as the original either. But for context, it's just as good as the best of Monster High or Ever After High. The art is pretty, the characters are endearing, the music is generally good, the story is unfocused, and the plot works over time to justify this scenario, and it'll still strain your suspension of disbelief from time to time. But I still like it, so I give My Little Pony Friendship Games a 3.5 out of 5. And spoilers start in 3, 2, now. The story begins with both Canterlot High and their arch-rival Crystal Prep getting ready for the Friendship Games, played once every four years. And CP's secret weapon is super pupil Twilight Sparkle. Not in the athletic department, she ain't. Twy's been doing some snooping around Canterlot High already, investigating some strange energies hanging around the school. And she's even built a device to detect and contain these energies. And throughout the course of the games, she'll pull the energy, i.e. magic, out of the main six and the portal. Then, under pressure from the administration, she tries to use the captured magic to guarantee victory in the friendship games. And of course, she turns into an arcane abomination. But it's okay, cause friendship's here to save the day again. As consistent as gravity, aren't they? This movie has two major problems. The first is a lack of focus. The most obvious example is, who is the villain? Twice the one being a magic vampire, and she's the one who turns into the final boss. But she's consistently characterized as a victim of circumstance, and basically a puppet of the evil headmistress. I mean Principal Cinch. I was so sure the principal would turn out to be some fire-snorting scaled something from Equestria. She's just so hyper-competitive, and trying to get Twy to use the stolen magic. I figured there had to be more to it, but no, she's really that short-sighted, irresponsible, and mean. There's also a Psycho Ranger version of the main six, a uh, Psycho Six, if you will. Sugarcoat is Applejack, Sour Sweet is Fluttershy, Indigo Zip is Rainbow Dash, Sunny Flare is Rarity, and Lemon Zest is Pinkie Pie. I love the concept. They're not the opposite of the element so much as just an evil version of it. As an example, Sugarcoat is just as honest as Applejack, but she's mean about it. This great idea is, however, sadly underdeveloped, because the story is split between Twilight and Sunset. This movie is about 90 minutes, and that's barely enough for one three-act story. You can't cram in two without losing something along the way. Now let's talk about the action. There are more action scenes in Friendship Games, but they're less substantial. The first happens during the athletic portion of the games, which combines archery, roller skating, and motocross. That's a friggin' weird combination. The second is a super-powered smackdown between Sunset and Twilight. The final battle in Friendship Games has more action than the Main Six vs. Demon Sunset, but not as much as the Rain Booms vs. the Dazzlings. There is, of course, music in this movie. There are a couple of okay songs and two darn good ones. The first of the really good stuff happens during the first phase of competition. It's got just the right vibe for a sports movie fight song. It features both schools taking turns smack-talking each other. And it has a fantastic montage. The second really good song is Unleash the Magic. This is a great villain song, and it features Crystal Prep convincing Twilight to, you know, unleash all the magic that she's collected. It's spooky and it's menacing, and it's a great way to set up Twy's transformation into Midnight Sparkle. The Canterlot High song sung by Rainbow Dash is okay, but it lacks that Eye of the Tiger punch. And Twilight gets a Disney princess song where she sings about wanting more. It's forgettable. Finally, what's good about MLP is still good in friendship games. The likable and endearing main cast. The original main six have lost none of their charms. And I liked seeing Twilight brought back to square one as an ordinary kid, not the magical pony princess of friendship. Okay, now it's time to break down the good and the bad in My Little Pony Equestria Girls Friendship Games. On the good side, the characters are doing that thing they do so well. The Psycho Six are awesome, there are neat sports action scenes and magical smackdowns, and some awesome music. On the other hand, the plot is a mess because they're trying to follow two leads at once. There are too many villains to focus on properly, 
and using possibly dangerous magic to win a sports competition between schools, that's a whole new level of petty. So I give Equestria Girls Friendship Games a 3.5 out of 5. And if you're interested in more views of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913, or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.